In this lesson, we'll discuss how to find prime numbers using the sieve of Eratosthenes method. In case you forgot, a natural number that has only itself and one as factors is called a prime number. A natural number that is not prime is called composite. The sieve of Eratosthenes is a method for generating a list of prime numbers. That being said, the question asks us to find all prime numbers that are less than 50. The first step to doing this is to write down all natural numbers from 1 through 50. Once you've done that, cross out 1 because 1 is not a prime number. The reason why is because a prime number must be divisible by exactly two positive integers. 1 is obviously divisible by only one positive integer itself, so it is not a prime number. We know that 2 is a prime number, so I will go ahead and circle it and I'll cross out every multiple of 2 because every multiple of 2 would be considered a composite number. The next number in the list, 3, is also a prime number. We should do the exact same thing as we did with 2 by crossing out all of its multiples. Now that we've done that, we can locate the next prime number being 5 and cross off its remaining multiples. So I'll circle 5 and cross out 25 and 35. Next in line is 7 and its only remaining multiple is 49. Lastly we have 11. 11 is a prime number and because it is greater than the square root of 50 which is approximately equal to 7.07 we can stop looking for composites and circle all remaining numbers in the list because they will be prime numbers. If you think about it, you will see that it is impossible to have a composite number of the form a times b where a and b are 11 or greater and yet the product is less than 50. With what we just learned, let's move on to question number two where we determine whether 83 is a prime number. To do this quick and effectively, see if any of the prime numbers that exist at the very beginning divide into 83. For example, 2, 3, 5, and 7. You'll notice that none of those actually divide into 83. So we are on our way to assuming that 83 is prime. We don't go past 7 as a prime number to test because the next prime number after 7 is 11. And since 11 is greater than the square root of 83, which happens to be around 9.1, there's no point into checking prime numbers greater than its square root. Therefore, 83 is prime. And there you have it, a few methods you can use on how to find prime numbers.